Hi, I'm Conrad Stoll, and this is Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from Ryan, and Ryan wants to know how developers can best make use of the M7 motion coprocessor that's found in the iPhone 5S. If you're developing a fitness app, you can use the M7 to help track the user's activity type and step data to help give them more information about their activity while they're running or jogging, or how many steps they took while they were out on the trail. You don't have to be developing a fitness app to use the M7 though. One journaling app called Day One is using the M7 and their latest update for iOS 7 to help add step data and activity type to users' journal entries. One other example of how you might use the M7 is if you're building a navigation app. You may want to provide a different user experience when a user transitions from walking to their car to actually getting into their car to drive somewhere. The M7 is always tracking a user's step count and activity type in the background using a very low amount of power. It's a great thing for developers to use to help the user track their activity type and provide them more information about their fitness activities. Our next question comes from Candice. Candice wants to know how developers can use voice in their apps without having true access to Siri. If you want your app to speak to a user, you can use the new text-to-speech APIs that are found in the accessibility framework. These APIs allow you to define text that will then be spoken to a user using the same voice as Siri. If you want your app to respond to a user's voice commands, you can use the NS Linguistic Tagger framework to identify keywords and phrases that you can take action on when a user talks to your app. Without having true access to Siri, it's hard to provide the same type of functionality in your app, but you can still use voice and speech to provide a better experience for your users. That's it for Ask a Developer. If you have any more questions, please tweet them to hashtag askadev or leave a question in the comments.